Hey guys, it's Friday. It's uh, it's Ask Isaline Coaching um, for Friday, and I got a question from somebody who wants to know how to set their salon to the next level. Um, they told me how much they take, which I don't want really to divulge on here just yet. And um, they really wanted to know how they can push it to that next level. And my question really was not necessarily how you do that. It's really how you sustain and contain what you've got. And you've got to remember that you're only as good as your last week's takings. So I remember one year I chased and chased and chased. I wanted to hit this big figure. Um, I had this desire to break the um, the 200,000 in a year profit, which is pretty massive. And um, we, we didn't just break it. We actually smashed it. We, we got way, way, way above 200 and something it was it was it was way up there and um i think the bad thing about hitting that because the, there is a bad downside of being good and having a good year like that was the fact that i really really obsessed or um kept that as my benchmark for such a long time i think it might have been two years later when i realized it actually dropped a little bit and actually dipped down um but i still kept saying yeah yeah you know we broke two and a half profit easy um and I think I lived with that, and, and I thought I was better than I was for quite a while. So you're only really as good as last week's takings. Um, so if you start doing um, eight or nine or ten, um, that's what you are, regardless if you did half a million or a million or two million. It's irrelevant. Um, I think most people out there seem to think that once they hit that pinnacle, they'll stay at that pinnacle forever, and it's not necessarily the case. So just remember, keep an eye on your numbers, keep an eye on your books, and if you do feel that it just slightly dipped down, that you, you, that's what you are. Um, it's a bit like if you won a premiership football and you still think 20 years later that you were a premiership football team because you won it once. It's not that way. You're only as good as your last year, and that's exactly the same uh, in a salon. So you're only as good as you were last week and the week before and the week before that, and your staff's re- books and your staff's takings and your staff's retention rate is only as good as what it is um, just because it was better at one time doesn't mean you're going to return to that unless you do something different so um, very very basic this one hey we we're, um, didn't have too many complaints which is good and um, through the themes of God I'm saving a few of the questions for next week but but this one really I wanted answered I think I had a little chat with her and I sent her a message um, but any questions you got let me know um, but I just wanted to sort of point point that out because I think when um, I took on a client and I asked her how she's going and and what she's doing so she's a client of mine now and um, the question the question was that she sort of said she did x amount of money um, and when we dug down in there it was nowhere near uh, and it hadn't been for over a year or two and um, but she still lived with the fact that um, she was a that caliber of salon and she isn't that caliber of salon because if if you're not taking that sort of money anymore, you're not. So I just wanted to let everyone know that, that um, out here, you, you're only as good as your last week. And, and we do get stuck in them stigmas. I, I, I'm guilty of that myself, you know. I, I'm, I'm one of the biggest people that thought um, we were still doing X amount and we weren't at all. We, 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 we dropped down. Um, and, and it needed a bit of a shake-up. It's quite strange. I think I've showed you the S-curve before. Um, it's when you start growing like so and then you do a dip. If you've plateaued off, I just want to let you know, if you've plateaued off at the moment, there's only one way for you to go is down um, unless you do something about it. And if you don't do anything about it, you will go down. And if you do start act- acting differently, doing things differently, <coughs> and forcing the issues <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> of certain things, you will start increasing and you'll, you'll get that nice S-bend as you go up. So just remember that if you've, if you've realised you're starting to dip or you've started to plateau, there's only one way to go and you can't live on your morals anymore. You've got to realise that you need some help. And that's not necessarily me asking uh, to come to me and ask for help because that's not what I'm after. Um, and this is not a sales talk through here. What this actually is, is just to remind you that if you've been tracking your numbers for a little while and you've dipped, then you know what? It's time for you to do something. Go and read some books, go on a course, do whatever it takes to change them numbers. Awesome. I'm going to go and have a, uh, I'm have a look. Put my feet in the water. It's not too bad out there. Um, it's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah. Take care, keep going. Thanks, Cubs.